guys, it's Way here. Welcome back to another video. And today, I'm going to be bringing you guys a trading method that will make you guaranteed profit and is literally the easiest and simplest way of making coins on this game. You can't go wrong. It's so, so basic and simple, yet will make you loads and loads of profit. And it works especially well right now because of a lot of SPCs that have been recently released. So, if you guys do enjoy, if you do, don't forget to leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're on your own here. Without further ado, let's go on into it. Now, this method has been around for absolute years. Since the beginning, really, of Ultimate Team, it's one of the original trading methods methods that people have used ever since like FIFA 11 and FIFA 12 and it is of course the bronze pack method as you can see here. Now believe it or not I haven't actually done a video on this this year. I know a lot of people have. I know the likes of nick 28 t and a lot of streamers use this very very effectively and the reason it works so well is because of a, lot, a lot of league SBCs actually require these bronze cards. Also icon SBCs require them too. So a lot of people are purchasing these types of cards and uh, it's a very easy way of making coins. Now I'm away on holiday when you're watching this video so I'm literally just spamming out videos trying to think of video ideas off the cuff to make videos on I literally needed to make nine videos in one night and this is the last one basically you just open 400 coin bronze packs and it's as simple as that you literally need to sell two players for minimum price and you've broken even and then having discarded stuff you'll also uh, obviously end up making profit so basically I'll show you the cards that sell these fitness cards will eventually sell for 200 coins you have to be patient but they will sell for 200 coins so literally these two cards here I can list them up and that's basically me making profit. You want to check the prices of all the, all these types of cards there. We actually got two players from the, um, uh, what's it called, Australian League. This guy sells for around 300 coins, I'd actually say. Because look, there's one for one for 350, one for 300, one for 200 there. I'd say 250. So yeah, I can sell this guy for 250. So bear in mind, we've already sold two fitness cards. So anything beyond that is now profit. So that's profit. We've made 250 coins. This guy, he plays in a league where there is a league SPC, the Australian League. So he, he will eventually sell and um, then discard the rest. I mean, we can check this guy's price, but I doubt he goes for anything. Wait, what? What? There was one of the bid on there. I don't know why, because... Wait, there's a few with bids on. I'm going to list this guy. I don't know why they have bids on, but you never know. So if everything sells there, we're going to be looking at like 600 coins profit, which is very, very good for a 400 coin bronze pack. You do have to be patient with this, but it's so, so simple. And as long as you've got like 10k or so and you can open enough of these packs, it's very profitable. Like if you just open one, you, you like it's, it's kind of, you don't really know whether you're going to make profit or not. But in the long run, you're basically just guaranteed. Now, any players who play in leagues where there is a league SPC will typically sell. Some players just go for lots, like this guy, 500 coins. One bronze rare player, we can sell him for 500 coins. And I mean, I'll list him for 450. That's already profit on this pack. I mean, that's so, so simple. We also get a Japanese league player. Now, if we check, there is a Japanese league SBC, so he may sell. It may take a little bit of time, but if you're patient and keep relisting these cards, he will sell. Does this guy go for anything? Yeah, he goes for like 200 coins. I think because there's an SBC that like requires, I don't know if it's an SBC or if it's like a, an objective, a weekly objectives, um, for like a, I think it's the player of the year from one of the, like one of the, I think it's the, what's it called, the Air Tristy League, I think, the Irish League. So yeah, we've got two two packs now that we've made profit in. We're looking at making like nearly a thousand coins profit so far from two of these packs. Obviously that's when the cards sell, which you do have to be a little bit patient about, but I'm just gonna open maybe like 10 of these packs and see what we can get really let's see what do we get here we get another rare player so i mean guaranteed look he goes for 1.5k i can sell him for a k he's english and has a good card so he will sell that's already 600 coins profit back from this pack um we also get a bundesliga player i mean playing for bayern munich this guy's got to sell yeah he does he goes for like 200 coins he will sell there i mean just because of the fact that he, he's german and plays for them he will definitely sell uh, these two guys i mean i doubt will sell always worth checking though you never really know, like, some random bronze players go for a lot, but from that pack there, we made, um, I think about, like, what, 800 coins or so, so we're looking at making, oh, I just opened a 7 fifth coin pack, I didn't mean to. These packs are still good though, you can still make profit from them, but the 400 coin ones are better. Um, you do get the squad fitness cards a little bit more often in these packs, which go for a lot. This ended up actually being quite a bad pack, and it's the most expensive one, so goes to show why you don't want to open 700 coin packs. Uh, you always want to go with those, um, those 400 coin ones. Nevertheless, though, we are getting a few players who will sell for a bit. I mean, this guy goes for, what, 200 coins? I think there is a Colombian League SBC, so that's already me making 400 coins back. These pace cards occasionally sell. 
um, very occasionally. We did get a 400 coin bronze pack back though from that, which is not bad. And then we also got a rare bronze card, which will sell for 200 coins, just because the Icon SBCs require bronze, um, some bronze players. So if, even from that pack there, I think we broke even and maybe even made profit, especially given we got a 400 coin bronze pack back from that for free. So I'm going to open a few more of these just to show you guys. I think so far we've made profit or at least broken even from every single one of these packs, which is very, very nice. We get another rare player here. What does he go for? 600 coins, 400. I mean, we can sell him for like 350. Quick sale. I'll sell him for 300. Um, who else do we get? We get another Irish League player. We also get a player from the Scottish Premiership who may sell for a little bit. Uh, it's always worth checking those guys. Um, maybe like the marquee matchups or something may mean they go for a bit. What you can do and what I often do is just keep players from leagues like the Scottish League um, or the Korean League. Not necessarily like these types of leagues because I don't think there will be a league SBC for them. But I keep players often from these types of clubs here. Um, what I should probably do is just discard them like this. But typically I, I keep bronze players from like those popular leagues that haven't yet had a league SBC just because um, you never know there's eventually going to be an SBC possibly for that league and those cards will then rise up in price and you can either complete the SBC cheaply or you can sell them on. Now I'm probably going to open like maybe one or two more packs my throat is killing me as you would probably expect given I've recorded so many videos today. I think I have recorded nine videos in total um, it's been one hell of a day in terms of uploading but we get another card, 200 coins. I mean, already from that, that's me um, like breaking even. Sell that, that's 200 coins profit. Quick sell the rest, that's 50. So, I mean, decent profit all round. Open one more of these, then I'll open one more from the store and we'll call it quits. But I mean, so far I haven't really lost out on any packs. You're literally just making profit or breaking even. And it's just so, so easy. Like, you can't really go wrong with this. Just keep your coins ticking over. Doing this very, very simply. We get another card there who I've already packed, so I can sell them there. Um, gradually you kind of get to know the prices of these cards. Squad Fitness, first time we've got one of these, look at that. Look at that, they go for like over a thousand coins. 1.3k, 1.2k is kind of a, a good price to sell at. I'll go 1.2 because I know I can quickly sell it there. And if you get lucky enough to get one of those, you're literally making back like three times the worth of the pack. I mean, if, if this isn't good uh, a good trading method, I don't know what it is. It's just so, so easy. Like, you can make millions by doing this, and it's just going to get better and better throughout the year because we're going to have more and more League SBCs. But here we go. We're going to finish on this one. Can we get something even better? Like, you can get informs and stuff in these sometimes. I've seen crazy pack luck in these. Let's see. What are we going to get? What are we going to get? We get another rare card, so... I mean, it looks like we're making profit from this. Yeah, he's got bids on 500 coins. I can sell this guy for more than the value of the pack there, so we're already looking at profit. Um, we also get a player from the Chinese Super League, who I've accidentally listed up. He will probably sell, because of that League SBC. We get an MLS player too. There is an MLS League SBC. He goes for about 400 coins. We'll listen for 250. We get a Spanish manager. They typically seem to sell. Maybe not, actually. I think the gold ones do. Uh, player fitness card that will eventually sell for 200 coins and that is it so i mean very very good bit of trading there i'm not sure if we've sold any cards yet let's check we may have sold i think we sold one um let's see yeah we sold that fitness card for 1.2k um it will take time you will have to release these cards a few times to sell them a lot of them typically sell like in the last kind of couple of minutes as you sell them on um but yeah loads and loads of players there we made profit on literally every pack probably made about 5k profit from opening those packs there which is very simple a little bit of trading if you guys just spam these packs and spam and spam and spam them you will make loads and loads of profit it's so so simple it's a guaranteed no loss no risk way of making coins i really would recommend it sadly i can't show you guys all these cards selling on because it's now nearly midnight on Sunday. I have to get a bus in like four, five and a half hours and I still have to edit four videos, upload all of them, do the thumbnails for all of them and pack as well. I literally haven't even started packing yet so hope you guys understand that. Um, I have a lot of work ahead of me. Hopefully I can actually sleep um, a little bit. Um, but yeah, all the effort going into the videos. Um, hope you guys did enjoy this one. Let me know if you make loads of coins by using this method. Like Maybe if you passed an inform or something with this method, let me know down below. And I'll catch you later. Take care.